Hey guys, it's Penrose. Today, I'll be talking about characters needed from the Infinity Saga theme, specifically the heroes. I think LEGO could use this theme to go back and get really iconic characters or suits. They have already made a new set on the first Iron Man, and a small one from Age of Ultron. So this would be a perfect time to look back on the things they missed. This video will be rapid fire, so I'm not here all day, but let's jump into the first entry. Captain America's Stealth Suit. This one would be very easy, considering that all the pieces are already made, so they could just get some new printing, and that'd be it. They likely won't add leg printing, but being a customizer, I could work around that. Entry 2, Odin. The idea is the same for Odin. The pieces are there, just add some new printing. They can make a new mold for his helmet, but it's not necessary to have. Entry 3, Kraglin. Since he was featured in What If Episode 2, this would still be relevant to do, but in my opinion, he would fit best in a Guardians 2 set. Just make the mohawk from B.A. Baracus brown, and that's it. Entry 4, Heimdall. This is a well-deserved spot because he's been in four movies and is very popular. He would need a new sword and helmet piece, but I think he'd be worth it. Entry 5, Spider-Man, the homemade suit. Since we just got a new Far From Home set, I think this would be great. You could even have him when he battled Shocker and make a little bust to punch him into. The possibility is there. Entry 6, Sif. She did appear shortly in What If as in Episode 3, but she could be put in as a side character in an old Thor set, and that would be sufficient for me. Entry 7, M'Baku. He played a crucial part in Black Panther, so I'm surprised he's not already made. But with the new hair from T'Challa Star-Lord, and a new walking stick piece, he'd be a great addition to your collection. Entry 8, Eitri. Now, this is a character I don't think would be a minifigure. I think he'd be buildable. And it would be really cool to have him in a set where he's molding Stormbreaker. And the last entry is also Captain America, but the World War II suit. This was shown in the first movie and at the end of the second. You could just have it in a museum on a stand, but I think it'd be cooler in an action scene. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you want, you can always unsubscribe later. See you in the next one.